Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I am Augustine Versace. This is O'Neill Media, and you are awesome. How you guys liking the new studio setup? Yeah, it's you like the digs in my basement, right? Hey, so right now I want to talk to you guys about a little something that I hold near and dear to my heart. This right here is the Sony ZV-1. Now, the reason that I want to talk about the Sony ZV-1 is because, as you guys may or may not know, Sony has just dropped the Sony ZV-E10, which is the bigger brother to the ZV-1. Now, today, if you stay with me, I'm going to tell you guys at the end of the video whether or not I believe you should get the ZV-1 or the ZV-E10. I got three reasons why I still love the ZV-1. And the first reason is the camera that I learned how to shoot most of my YouTube content on is the a7 III, which I have right here, what I'm shooting on right now. But I have this bad boy now for bigger productions. This is the Sony FX3, but we'll get into that in another video. The a7 III and the ZV-1 remind me of the exact same camera. Um, they really, really, really are similar to each other with the main difference being that you cannot change the lens and the sensor side is bigger, but it is actually like an upgrade to the a7 III, which if you may or may not know is the reigning king of YouTube up until this point. Now there's cameras that have come out the woodworks that are giving it the business, but, uh, yeah. So with that being said, right? We got to go get some new glasses, me and my daughter. So I'm going to bring this guy here with me and I'm going to let you guys see some video. I'm going to vlog with it today and show you the three things that I really, really like. The first being, of course, it is almost the a7 III, just smaller with improvements in the autofocus as well as the shooting mode. So yeah, uh, glasses time. All right, now we are in the car. Hi guys. Say hi to Jordy. We are in the car and I am now on a ZV-1. How am I looking? It exposes for my face. Um, unless I'm shooting something super specific, I usually just keep it in intelligent auto. I like it, 60 frames per second, just in case I gotta slow something down, but you know how I do. Um, Yeah, I have the wind muff on and my, my air conditioner is on because it is hot, it is like, 87 degrees today, but now I want to get into number two It's small. It's pocketable like really pocketable like almost as pocketable as my cell phone Kids can't never just let you look Jordan you can turn that down for a second You buy them headphones and then they don't use it right right But anyway, it is almost as small as my cell phone that is something that I really 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 do enjoy and love is it's just small it's small package all right and with it having like the directional microphone at the top with the little wind muff you could clip on top and on top of that like it's just all like literally all I have right now is the camera and a gorilla pod which I usually don't even use but and this is a crazy big setup that makes people say, oh my God, what is he doing? Like, I'm really cool with this setup. This setup is actually pretty dope. So, yeah, it's pocketable. Reminds me of the A7 III. We're two in. We got one more to go. One more to go. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second. But, uh, yeah, let's get here before we're late for our uh, appointment, all right? Guess where we're at? Not really. Uh, just gotta walk through here to get to the eyeglass place. This place is nice. It makes you wanna buy. How does my audio sound? Well, this place makes you wanna buy like stuff for the house. Yeah, me. Yeah. I've been looking at all this. Yo, the greatest invention of this decade, Joe. 
the air fryers. Bro, oh, look at this one. $300 well spent. Here all the time, and I promise you, they closed the gate on us. Why? I don't know. We Come on, we're gonna be late. <laughs> oh, I hate being late. Now we gotta walk around. I'll tell you. Scary? You scared to get the wind puffed in your eye? Yes! Why? It's scary! I'm a nine year old and and the wind is getting pushed in my air by force. I did it. Do you think it's easier than you're an adult? That's different. So? I'm so? Old. Yeah! You can go ahead and do it. See? You don't even have to do it. I am so, so glad that you guys are here with me. How, how I'm looking? How you boy looking? We good? And uh, the battery life really, really sucks on this camera. But unlike the ZV-E10, they use the A6000 series batteries, which are a little bit bigger. I have these little bitty things. Not very big at all. I could carry a bunch of them in my pocket. I got two, I own like four, but they're like cheap to get like third parties. And yeah, it's not really that much of a hassle. That's like four of them is about four and a half hours, like five hours or something like that of recording time. And really if you vlog and why do you need so much time? I don't get it. I don't think I do. So that works out in his favor. And the last, but not least, you see this? That is the rolling shutter. The rolling shutter is so much worse on a ZV-E10 because they have that old sensor. That sensor is just so old. This is a newer sensor. It handles the rolling shutter so much better. That's reason number three why I choose this. And now, we should probably get into uh, whether or not you should get this or the ZV-E10. And my opinion is a little mixed on this, but just rock with me, it'll be clear. All right, we are back in the office that is located in Mama's basement, but if you guys have not, please like, subscribe, ring that bell notification so you can be back every time I drop a video. And we're talking about this guy right here, man. This is my full vlogging setup, which I love that this is my full vlogging setup. Like I go out, I don't need a mic. Got the directional mic here. Got the little wind muff. Got the flippy Audi screen. Got my gorilla pod, which I really never liked. I use so many different types of things, and this is actually pretty dope for smaller cameras, um, which this is. Now, I gave you guys my three reasons for why I love using this camera and why I personally would pick this camera over the ZV-E10. Now, to go back over those and recap, first guys, we have that it is a baby A7 III. In my opinion, that's how it functions. It is not a baby A6000 series, which I have a problem with those sensors and really their, their rolling shutter is mostly unusable. Then after it being a baby A7 III, which is the king of vlogging, 
iron it, maybe I'm tripping. But then you also have the fact that it is quite small. Now see, you have this camera here, nice size, right? This is my cell phone. When you put them side to side, you see that this actually is pretty small of an imprint compared to the length of my phone. Now the width, of course, there's like no comparison. It is about double with without this rig, small rig case that I have on here, this small rig rig for it. Um, it is about double the girth of my phone, but still could slide it in and out of a pocket. No problem at all. Then lastly, I already touched on it just a little bit. Rolling shutter. When you're whipping this because you're vlogging and you're going over here looking at yourself, bam, tone the subject. There's really no comparison between this and the ZVE-10 because the ZVE-10, these guys are getting on my nerves with the clacky. The ZVE-10 just has that older sensor which really has terrible, terrible, terrible rolling shutter that that A6000 series tends to have. I told you guys, you stay to the end of the video, I'll give you my suggestions on which one to get. It's a really simple situation to be in. If you are a vlogger, full-time vlogger, you just wanna be able to pop it out, bow, get your shot, then the ZV-1 is the guy for you. Now, the ZV-10 has been promoted as a camera for vloggers, which I personally do not believe that it is. See, it is good for what it is. It's more pocketable than a full A7 series camera. But the issue is the rolling shutter. I hate that rolling shutter, but if you are using it for content creation, beginning content creation, that is the easiest way in. I'm telling you guys, for the same price as this, you'll be getting a really good content creation camera that you could get lenses for that you can actually expand upon and build up a rig and all types of stuff because it is essentially an A6000 series camera. So with that being said, guys, let me know in the comments what you think, what you may be going for if you are looking for a camera because these are roughly the same size and roughly these are not roughly the same size. Let me know what you guys are going to do when going to get a camera because these are roughly the same price. Well, without a lens, but if you get the kit lens that comes with the Sony ZV-E10, I want to say A6000. Like, really, I want to say that, but it's the Sony ZV-E10. If you get that lens that actually puts you one up as far as content creation over this camera. But if you are just vlogging, bam, bam. Bam. then I suggest that you get the ZV-1. So with that being said, guys, as usual, peace. I love you guys. See you on the next one.